first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5:30. Business startups are bringing more money into our local economy than ever before. They are healthcare and higher education take the top two spots. Startups falling into third place. WSBT 22's Suzanne Spencer has been digging into this for us new here at 5:30, and Suzanne, startups are becoming big business. Jennifer, here's the pretty interesting part. They're bringing tons of jobs to our local economy, but the state is nowhere near other parts of the country. Each state in this map is rated on their total startup activity. Dark blue being the most startups like Montana and Colorado, but Indiana falls in 44th place. Somewhat surprising, they're ranked 44th in 2014. They were 48th place, but they're going to continue to keep working on it. You don't even have to come up with something new. You just have to borrow something from another place and maybe tweak it a little bit. Pouring ideas. Andrew Elegante's idea, South Bend Brew Works. It just turned 18 months old. We put this bar together by hand. We didn't hire someone to come in and do that for us. The equipment that we had when we first started was kind of rough, you know? It was all used. So is this your first time here? It's a startup at its finest. South Bend becoming a hotbed for businesses just like his. What types of startups are you seeing here locally? Everything. <laughs> Alan Steele works for the Indiana Small Business Development Center. We were very manufacturing intensive, and now we've, you know, kind of transitioned into this post-manufacturing economy. Now we see, you know, a much bigger portion of the economy being represented in services and in consumer products um, and in these technologies. Venley is a tech startup in South Bend and knows all about putting the pieces of a new company together. From the vision. From the top down, everybody's got um, sort of a vision that we share. To the employees. Everyone who has stars has performed well. To the location. I think it's a great place for a startup to start because in a lot of ways South Bend is starting over again. It's their product, a software program that analyzes customer choices that sets them apart. People don't have fresh data on how customers are making choices. It's a real void, and we're filling that void. It's only a few years old. South Bend's low cost of living, access to Notre Dame, and quality of workforce contributed to their success. The community will change. This, this will be a Midwest, you know, tech hotbed in five to ten years. Venley's product started as an idea from a Notre Dame professor. They started their business at Innovation Park. Just one year later, they moved to their office in downtown South Bend. In two years, they have grown drastically. Their workforce expected to double to 50 just by this time next year. It's fascinating to see the growth like that and lots of other companies like them in South Bend. Right. I mean, you know Innovation Park. I mean, yes. 77 new companies there just this from 2015. I mean, it's just pretty incredible, the growth opportunities there. That doesn't include even all the dozens of jobs coming from those. You might be wondering, too, and be surprised to learn who is starting these. I'm working on that for tonight at 6. All right. Look forward to seeing it, Suzanne. Thanks.